toddler can't stop laughing while firefighters try to rescue him. Brandon Green had a blast while locked inside of his mom's car. Over on the other side of the pond, there was a recent event not so different from what happens over here in the States quite a bit. 14-month-old Brandon Green accidentally locked his mom, Christy Green, out of the car, while he was still in it. She had placed her keys in the center console while she loaded her groceries into the vehicle. Once she shut the back door, before she could open the front one, Brandon accidentally bumped the lock. Green is just over a year old and he loved the attention he was getting. He hit the locks in his mom's car and accidentally locked her out. His mom had just loaded the groceries when he locked the car. She had placed the groceries in the car when suddenly Brandon hit the locks. He thought it was quite funny that he was the only one inside the vehicle. Brandon laughed the entire time they were trying to get him out. It happened in Cornwall and emergency personnel had to try to get him out without injuring him. It was a bit difficult because he kept moving to where they were. Kirsty Green is thankful for the local fire department. Brandon's mom, Kirsty Green, said the crew from Butte Community Fire Station were amazing. She added that they are a credit to the community. Little Brandon thought it was all pretty funny. 14-month-old Brandon was having the time of his life. He thought all of the attention was more funny than scary. Kirsty thought Brandon would be fine as she loaded the groceries in. Kirsty thought Brandon would be okay while she loaded in the groceries. That is until she realized she had left her keys inside. The United Kingdom has some of the best emergency personnel. They were quick to arrive on the scene to rescue Brandon. Eventually, they had to break the back window to get him out. A mistake with her keys could have been costly. She placed her keys in the center console of the car so she wouldn't lose them. She didn't realize what kind of mistake she was making. She realized what she had done too late. When she realized what she had done it was too late. She turned back just in time for the doors to close and the locks to lock, with Brandon smiling inside. Emergency crews eventually had to smash the back window. Crews tried several ways to get the doors open but each attempt failed. Eventually, they had to smash a back window. After a little time, he got bored and wanted out. Brandon hadn't been strapped into the shopping cart because there were no straps. That's why Kirsten put him in the car. What was funny at first though, quickly led to boredom on Brandon's part. She said, I decided to put him in the back of the car while I was unloading the shopping so he didn't keep trying to stand up in the trolley. Shopping cart, here is what happened because of that decision. He kept standing up in the cart. He wasn't being a good boy in the cart because he kept standing up. Kirsten put him in the car where he should have been safer, but Brandon had other plans. As rescue workers tried to figure out what to do many people stopped by for a look. Brandon's jumping around the car laughing got everyone's attention. The trunk was full but so was the inside of the car. Once Brandon locked Kirsty out of the car she didn't know what to do. I was a bit panicky at first, wondering how I was going to get him out, but luckily a few other shoppers quickly came to help me out, and one lady working in little phone 101. 911. Luckily it was an overcast day. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Kirsty said, it wasn't a particularly hot or sunny day so once I knew the rescue crews were on the way I knew he'd be fine. The nice vehicle is now one window short of a full set. Kirsty said that the rescue efforts by the Butte Community Fire Station were nothing short of brilliant. The truth of the matter though, is that they have probably done the same rescue many, many times. It was worth the cost though to have Brandon safe. The cost of a new window isn't cheap, but it was worth it to make sure Brandon was okay. Kirsty said, they were amazing, and I think just as much as they were keeping Brandon entertained, he was equally making them laugh. This is the smile that greeted firefighters. Firefighters had a hard time working with a straight face. This is what kept popping up in the windows as they tried to work. The emergency crew did a fantastic job in getting him free. The rescue team said that Brandon was removed from the car quickly and he was in perfect condition. They were glad the smiling boy was able to keep doing so.